If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and also check out all the social media and affiliate links in the description. Hey guys, it's Olavids, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how I made the One More Fanboy Rejected uh, parody song. So, basically, a lot of people are wondering how did I get the, the voice to be exactly like the Fierce Battle theme from Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. You know, how did I get that voice? How did I make it sound similar? And the answer is that I used the same exact voice that, you know, they used in the game. Now, I've gotten comments that some people, you know, said that they probably used some backing vocals to, you know, to supplement the the voice, which is entirely possible, because my, my thing doesn't exactly sound like it. Like, it, it sounds very close to it, but... Yeah, there's probably a bit more editing and, you know, uh, manipulation of the uh, the sounds and all that than, you know, it's different from what I did because I don't know what the, you know, sound designers did. How do you get that voice, that voice that they use in Shin Megami Tensei 3? Well, to start off, you're going to need a Mac. Any kind of Mac computer, you know, whatever, whatever computer you got with the uh, Mac operating system, you're going to need that because the text-to-speech voice that you're going to use is only on Mac and it's called Albert. So you're gonna need to get the Albert voice. Uh, if you don't have it, well, in order to like be able to, you know, see which voices you have, go to the system preferences, accessibility, and then the speech, and then you can go check the voices there. Now, it'll automatically be set to a different voice, so when you listen to it, you know, it's not gonna be what you need. So, what you're gonna need to do is, if it's not downloaded, go download the Albert voice, and then after that, open up text edit, and then start typing out your lyrics. So. What I did was, I opened up the actual lyrics of the song and basically tried to write it so that it's kind of similar to it, but I switched some words around and all that so that, you know, it still has the same flow as the original song. So after you typed out your lyrics, you can go in and highlight it and do the uh, edit and then speech and make it play. And as you can hear, it will play the sound that you want. Now. The next thing is, how do you capture this sound? Obviously, you don't want to just be locally on your computer. You just, you know, you want to, let's say you want to make it into a video or something or into an MP3 file. How do you capture the sound? Well, what you need to go do is get Soundflower. And this thing basically allows you to make your computer's internal audio act like a mic. And once you got that downloaded, go into your uh, audio MIDI setup and then make an aggregate uh, object. Set to two uh, two CH. That's your computer's audio. And then after that, you're gonna want to open up QuickTime and go to you know uh, record audio. And then after that, in the drop down, select your mic and choose the uh, object you made. And so then you should be capturing your computer audio right now. So press play on the you know edit speech thing. And then after that, you know record on QuickTime. Make sure that all you know gets saved in. And then after that. You'll have your audio file for the uh, lyrics. After that, you gotta download the Shin Megami Tensei 3 Fierce Battle Theme Instrumental. Uh, I can provide a, a link in the description as to where I, which one I chose. So this one is actually kind of good because you could kind of hear the voice very faintly in the background, like really low. But that actually kind of helps to you know give more substance to your voice because you can't obviously you can't make out the words they're saying. So it just adds a bit to the uh, the sound. So you've got your instrumental, you've got your lyrics and all of that. So next you're gonna need to open up uh, GarageBand. And then after that, you're going to drop both of your you know audio files into there. And then after you drop your audio files in there, obviously you're gonna need to line up the lyrics so that it uh, matches with the timing of the music. Make sure you listen to the original song to compare so that you know what you're doing, where you're placing the lyrics and all that stuff. So yeah, once you place your lyrics out in the correct place, then you should basically have your uh, your parody. Now, another thing I did with the lyrics, at least, is I raised up the voice a bit, like the volume. I raised up the volume of the lyrics, and I also added some reverb and all that to give it some more, you know, make it sound fuller, give it some reverb and all that. So you could mess around with the effects and see what you could do with it. I didn't really do too much to it, I just added reverb and made it louder so you could clearly hear the words. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So 
it, it, depending on how much time you spend on this, it could be more accurate or less accurate. It depends on just how long you sit there and compare it to the original song. It, yeah, it really depends on that, how much time you spend on it. This is an easy way to make a, you know, SMT Nocturne parody and all of that. So, yeah, it should be pretty easy as long as you have the hardest thing, the hardest uh, step to this thing is having a back. Other than after that, it's pretty easy. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll leave the link to everything you need in the description. And um, definitely comment. <laughs> If you make a parody, comment your lyrics below. Let me see what you what you made up and what you come up with. I made one based on the fact that everyone was mad about SMT getting into, you know, on the Switch instead of uh, Persona. If you enjoyed it, if you found this helpful, be sure to like and share and comment and all of that stuff. Subscribe, click the bell. And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys next time.